Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to use the Java plugin in Google Chrome since the release of Google Chrome version 45, which came out earlier this month. Basically, the Chrome browser has cut support for NP API plugins, and that virtually makes Java unusable in Google Chrome. And if you're browsing through various websites, you may get alerts saying that Java is no longer compatible with Google Chrome. So I will be showing a workaround for this within the Google Chrome browser. But before I do this, I should also state that there are other browsers that you can use Java for with the most up-to-date versions. And that would be Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari. Safari on Macintosh. I don't believe Safari is still kept up-to-date on Windows computers but it's still giving people some different options here. To get Java working in Google Chrome we want to go on Google. We want to type in Chrome extensions and then open up Chrome Web Store. And now the Web Store search IE tab. I will put a link in the description for this as well. And now underneath extensions click on Add to Chrome directly next to the IE tab. Click on Add Extension. And basically what this will allow Google Chrome to do is emulate the Internet Explorer environment for rendering various web pages. And this can be good particularly to help load older pages or pages that require Internet Explorer. So we're going to open up this download that just downloaded on our computer here. We're going to click on Run. And there we go. We have the IE tab right now right underneath our address bar. So if I navigate over to our Java page to see if Java works on this computer, we see that we're getting a completely different pop-up here saying just to check to find out-of-date versions. So we're no longer getting anything saying that Google Chrome is no longer supported. So I hope this video helped you out guys. Um, just disable this extension if you don't need to use Java at any given time just to improve browser performance. But other than that everything should be good. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.